I would love to, so we're a bit behind schedule. I would love to have um, maybe one uh, question directly to you from the Zoom meeting. Is there anyone who has a, has a question directly? Please just speak up and unmute yourself. I had a question if, uh, if I could ask one. Perfect, yes. Max. Uh, so really interesting uh, talk, uh, Luca. So uh, do you think that um, actual online learning of the algorithm in the app is useful? So you mean you, you gather, you make predictions of maybe who gets sick and then um, you could potentially online learn to improve the algorithm as you receive observations over time. We think it's absolutely critical, not only for learning, but also for evaluation. So public health agencies need to know how the app is performing. And uh, this is some way closely linked to learning the parameters because while you are evaluating how the app is actually performing, you are receiving the information that allows you to eventually improve the parameters via online learning. So we believe this is a critical point because at present we do not know enough about the epidemiological parameters. And again, this is a large scale experiment. So we need uh, to learn as we, as we go and to learn fast because we, we don't want to have a product that is uh, uh, controlling uh, the, the lives of millions of people who is uh, uh, suboptimal with respect to internal algorithms. So I think the two things are closely related, both evaluation of how the actual algorithms are doing and this online learning and reparameterization of the algorithm to be fed back to, into the app. Thank you. That's great. So maybe one question from um, the Google Docs sheet to uh, to Bernhard or one from his group. Um, so the question is uh, about the mediation analysis. Uh, could you specify what kind of fine-grained data uh, would improve this mediation analysis? And uh, if, uh, if more variables in the causal graph would make the uh, mediation analysis uh, difficult? Yeah, so I'll, I'll take this one, Bernhard. Yeah. Um, so one thing that, uh, for example, would help is um, including stuff like the, the medical infrastructure that is relative, probably not too difficult to quantify. So the number of um, ICUs and ventilators, um, including some more general data about the, the population demographic that is probably available. Um, other things are probably a bit more difficult to quantify, such as like the family structure or the sort of intergenerational mixing. Um, so really, um, the, the methodology is, um, is there, it would, I would think it wouldn't get too much more difficult to include additional mediators, but, the, many of these things are really hard to, to quantify at least at the moment. So I think that's where at least I would see the challenge. Great. Thanks. So there are a lot more questions, um, maybe at the end. So just for the audience, uh, at the, at the very end, also of the next session, there will be more chance uh, for some discussion and maybe we can bring up a, a, a bit more questions also to Bernhard and, and Lucas. Uh, Luca, sorry. And with that, uh, I thank the speakers of this session. Thank you, it was uh, very interesting talks. And I want to hand over to Lena for the last session.